أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ماذا دي يا سيدي يا سلطان الأولياء شيخ محمد نازم حقاني ماذا دي يا سيدي يا مولانا الشيخ هشام كباني من الشيخ عبد القادر الجيلاني قد صلى الله حسين بمددكم وزحالنا وأشفالنا ماذا دي يا سيدي يا رسول الكريم يا حبيب العظيم إن شاء الله sharing always for myself a reminder for myself of these realities that knowledges that dunya people they wonder what, what the benefit and akhira people who live in dunya for the purpose of guidance they want to remind us and constantly teach us knowledges that have benefit upon the soul because that as soon as you sleep especially if you sleep at night with wudu your soul goes below arsh rahman and only Allah teach that when the soul is going it's not going something empty it's going and asking from Allah in the oceans of light oceans of power we say divinely presence because it can't reach exactly Allah's presence it reaches towards the divine oceans known to us as Sayyidina Muhammad this is Habibat al Muhammadiyah means the soul moves into that ocean and asks for knowledges, for realities to be dressed. So the knowledges that they teach that are da'im, they're eternal from malakut, from the atomic, the nuclear reality of the soul which is the world of light. The knowledge of, of just the usuls of and the level of just the body it's not something the soul can go to ask more knowledge about. We said before, the basics of wudu, you can't go to Divine the Presence and say, Ya Rabbi, please can I go into the oceans to understand how to wash my fingers better. That's for your body. The body stays in dunya. But the realities of wudu, the realities of water, the realities of washing the heart, washing the soul, washing the, the blood, those are the realities that are eternal. They begin to teach us in our life that from the importance of the number 11 that the reality and from every level there are more and more realities from just one understanding of Mawlana Shaykh's teaching that 11 has to do with the Divine Mirror. It's an important reality for us that the reality of 11 is from La ilaha illallah one and Muhammad Rasulullah the reflection of that one. So it's two ones that are looking at each other. So when we see that number 11 and the realities of number 11 has to do with the reality of mirroring. That from La illallah is reflecting from the oceans of Ahadiyya to the oceans of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Wahid. Ruh al-Wahid wa khalaq al-insana min Ruh al-Wahid means that there's only one Allah al-Ahad. And there's only one reality of Sayyidina Muhammad throughout creation and that is Wahid. Means that La illallah and then Muhammad Rasulullah in the way of Marifa is teaching us about mirroring. That the mirror of La illallah is dressing the ocean of Muhammad Rasulullah So in the way of, of Marifa when they begin to teach us that they want to open the reality of La illallah. Also 11 has another way of making 11 which is more powerful which is 29, 2 plus 9. 29 in the huruf is La means we'll get to the 29 becomes La which is the way of annihilation. When the first zikrs of, of the people of zikr is La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah means that you're going to shut off the head to bring out the reality nothing but Allah means one way of making an 11 is through 29, 2 plus 9. That will be down here but for this understanding when they show us the number 11 they want us to reach towards the reality of a Divine mirror. That you cannot reach anything yourself, this reality of mirroring is throughout creation. Means that you cannot reach to La illallah without going through the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah So 
it's known to us by lam alif. When we want to make the lam is for the mulk and creation that everything comes into existence by the reality of Prophet's tongue. That Allah wants creation to come into existence, He merely speaks it to the reality in the soul of Prophet and that creation now is beginning to manifest. In these oceans of Muhammad Rasulullah is now teaching us the realities of marifa to reach towards that Divinely Presence which is at the end La. Because every marifa we have to start from this direction. You can't start from the, the top of the mountain, you start from the beginning of the mountain for the journey. Means if the journey is to reach the realities of La illallah which exist within the La which is negation then the huruf is teaching us from the secrets of eleven that come to the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah So what do you see now at the ocean of Muhammad Rasulullah? The Allah that you are mentioning is this Allah, it's not the Allah of La illallah. You don't know that Allah's yet. Means Allah wants, when He wants creation to come into exist, come into guidance, He's guiding us. That tell creation, come to Allah, come to the oneness of the Creator. That go out, all the messengers, what was their job? To tell people about Allah. Don't be multiple, but be in the oneness of the Creator. So then, this is the Allah that we are first coming into that reality. That Allah wants us to come into oneness, that is now the way of, of guidance because La illallah is the tawheed. But to, to, to be a Muslim you have to say La illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Means you really can't enter the ocean of tawheed without truly understanding Prophet How this important is that it, people trying to respect Holy Qur'an but how you can respect Holy Qur'an if you're not respecting the one who brought you the Holy Qur'an. So means it's like saying that you're, you have a, a clean wudu but your shower was dirty. If the shower was incorrect, what's your wudu going to do for you? Means that it's all a chain towards reaching that reality because many people hold Qur'an and they're not reaching its realities. Many people reading Qur'an and they're not reaching its power and its authority. And Allah teaching that by everything there's a means, means come to me, come to my oneness except that you want to come to Allah So then all of us doing da'wah telling people come to the oneness of Allah What Allah next has in the name Muhammad Rasulullah because how can you know Allah when you don't know Muhammadun Rasulullah so, so this is the way of the marifa of Prophet So you have to know your, your Nabi before you can claim to know Allah You have to love Prophet so that you can love Allah's Word because then it's not connected, it's abta. To be connected Allah is showing you have to love the Rasul. You have to be from the people who are arifin, that they know the reality, they are moving towards the reality of Prophet So in the name Muhammadun Rasulullah it's this Allah that we've been introduced. That we're coming by imitation only because we yet haven't seen. Our heart is not open and not tasting that reality so we're imitating. We come to this Allah next in the name of Prophet is the Rasul. Then Allah teaching us then if you're accepting me come to my Rasul because this is the way of the marifa towards this reality. If you're accepting my Rasul then that's why what they're explaining why only Allah and pious people they're always talking about Haqiqat al Muhammadiyah. They're taking us to the real La ilallah Muhammad Rasulullah. They're trying to take all their followers into that ocean of reality. So the kalima itself is the best guide. It's teaching us that you want to know about Allah come to the Rasul. If you want to know the reality of the Rasul and yet they didn't talk yet about each of the huruf. That what is this alif, lam, lam? What is this lisan and the tongue of truth that speaks for Allah What is the ra and the sir and the wow 
This is the Rabb Sirat al Wadud. The Ra is the Rububiyya, the Lordship of that reality. The Seen is the Seer and the Secret. The Wow is that it exists by love. Allah made this creation to manifest by the oceans of love. So, Prophet is the symbol of that reality. We accept the Rasul and now where they're taking us is into the realities of Muhammad That's why it's so essential for Mawlid the Nabi Because if you… how are you going to know Allah if you're not celebrating the life and the time and the way of Sayyidina Muhammad This is… this is why they're showing this is the, the way of guidance. That all awliyaullah they must follow that formula that before you can know La ilaha illallah you must be deep into the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah So they take us within the realities of Mim Ha, Mim Dal, Malik Al Hayat, Malik Al Dunya. He's the Malik of all this creation and in the hereafter he's Malik Al Hayat. And that's why hadith al-awwal that I am… I was a Rasul before the creation of your body and mud and water. Means that these are the realities of light. The Prophet teaching that my light was the first thing Allah created and everything from my light. That's why all the Nat Sharif, all these recitations, why only Allah came into our lives to make us to recite these. These are like the seeds that you plant upon your soul. When you're praising realities, praising realities, praising realities, what every night you're doing when you're going to Allah Your soul knows, your soul says, Ya Rabbi I was praising a praise, let me to swim in that ocean, to drink from that ocean, to be dressed from that ocean. The body may be jahal but the soul, Hayyul Qayyum. As much as it's reciting of realities, as much as it's reciting of praisings, it's swimming in the oceans, being dressed by these oceans. So what happens when they take us to the ocean of Muhammad Rasulullah Now they begin to open that reality, the secret of Lam Alif that you want to come into this ocean of annihilation. What it says there is that, come now into the way of La. Because this lamb, when it meets the alif, because lamb represents creation. When it comes to the reality of Izzatullah, the lamb and the relationship of this lamb and alif immediately begins to flip. This is now the whole realities of marifah. The, uh, the alif is in front. When the lamb comes from behind, because nothing can connect with Allah, when the lamb comes from behind, this secret of La is that this part that is reaching to you is Prophet And Allah's marifah goes back and hides because Allah a hidden treasure wanting to be known. This lamb is Muhammad Rasulullah, this alif is La illallah. When the two come together make two bow lengths or near, this is the realities of Qawbu Qawsaini or Adna. When, when the reality comes two bow lengths and near means now this in the way of marifah you have to have and be lost in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Because what you're going to find now all of this reality is inside the reality of Muhammad All of that reality must be within the reality of Muhammad Rasulullah. You can't go outside of Muhammad Rasulullah because La ilaha illallah means nothing, means there's nothing here for you, there's nothing but Allah So there's… you can't swim in the ocean of La ilaha illallah. What Prophet is going to teach us in the way of marifah, you negate yourself, you negate yourself, you negate yourself, you take the way of the arifin that they become nothing, they become nothing, they become ashiqeen and their arwa and their soul is swimming in the soul of Prophet At that time in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad begins to open the reality of La ilallah. Means the real reality of La ilallah is within the heart of Prophet Within the heart of Prophet is coming in Ramadan 
Al-Ghaf wal Qur'an al-Majeed means that where Qur'an came from, came from the heart of Prophet through his holy tongue and sent out to creation. Allah has no time, means there must always be this izzat, there must always be a light, there must always be a revelation coming through the heart of Prophet From where? From the oceans of La illallah. Means the ocean of La illallah, the reality of La illallah that we're trying to reach, it's existing within the soul of Prophet Everything must be contained in this circle. You can't go outside this circle. Outside the circle is La illallah. La illallah means no, no shariq, no partner with Allah What you're looking for are the realities of creation. All that creation is in the ocean of Muhammad Rasulullah inside the heart of Prophet begins the openings and the realities of La illallah. So that we traverse into the reality of the heart of Prophet and the highest reality they begin to dress us with is in that Lam Alif. So then the other 11, the reality of that 11 is in 29. So Lam Alif is the station of annihilation where you annihilate yourself to be nothing. What exists within you is the light of Prophet If Prophet opens for us a mirage, because we have to know, they say, keep your limits and know your boundary. Most people they don't understand their limit and they don't know their boundaries. That when Allah is the Divine Essence, that Prophet describes that I was created by the light of Allah and creation from my light. So it means now there's three, the Divine Essence, Sayyidina Muhammad and the Adamic realities, that all creation is from that. When we don't understand that reality we think that we're going to go directly to Allah But because arifin means they know, if they know they've been dressed, they witnessed it, they breathe it, they drink it and they've been given permission to speak it. Not somebody who read a book and then read a book back to you. There's no permission especially in Naqshbandiya that you have to be in it, you have to have experienced it, otherwise you're a liar. You're talking even it's a reality and if it's not a reality for you, you're considered amongst the shaykhs a liar and they don't accept lying. Because you can't speak of something that you're not experiencing. But if they take you through that ocean, witness to taste and to drink from that ocean, they give you permission then to speak from that ocean. That reality is Basirat Lam Jalala. This Lam Jalala, Lam Alif is going to be a big reality that is the Zulfiqar, right? The two points and the, the holding. The Zulfiqar was the sword of Sayyidina Muhammad He gave it to Imam Ali Why? I'm the Madinat al-Ilm and Ali Baba. He gave the, the stewardship of that door to Imam Ali but who is the owner of that reality is that it is the Muhammadan reality. This is the way of annihilation. If we don't understand the way of annihilation, we keep thinking that we're going to go for mirage to Allah What Allah We are in the mirage to understand the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad If your light be thrown back into the Muhammadan oceans, is your mirage, our mirage is in the soul of Prophet As Prophet is moving towards La illallah, our souls moving in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah If Prophet gives permission for a real mirage means he opens his heart and the light of your soul begins to enter into the heart, into the realities of that La illallah. Means Prophet permission within the heart begin to take and that becomes the real zikr of Allah. If your arwah, if your soul is in the heart, that's why all of the Arabic, we don't know where fluent Arabic, Ahbab and Nabi the keepers of the door. What door? Well, what are we talking door? This is the door. <laughs> they became the door of this reality, the door of the heart of Prophet Ahbab and Nabi, the Habaib. Why Habaib? Because this is all based on love. 
This is all based on the love of Prophet If there's no love because who, who, who are they, who are the Habibs? They are the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad means their souls are moving in love with Prophet When you're in love where would you be? In the heart. In the heart is the center of all power. When this Qur'an is manifesting, when Laylatul Qadr, Shaykh Abdul Qadr, all of them qaf, wal Qur'an al Majid. What gives them Qadr, what gives them Quwa, what gives them power is Holy Qur'an. Where's Holy Qur'an manifesting from? The heart of Sayyidina Muhammad These, these awliyaullah, they are the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad And by loving Prophet Allah gave them the title of awliyaullah. But they are the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad Means to reach towards that 29, means they teach us the La illallah Muhammad Rasulullah come and all your life you take the way of the mirror that, Ya Rabbi I want to reach to you then serve my Prophet serve my, my Habib, serve my beloved. We find ourselves lost in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad having the mafils, having the associations. Spread the love of Prophet so that your soul begins a deep love relationship with Prophet that love relationship begins to nourish and develop in the love of Allah Zawajal. Wa Allah Zawajal qulini kuntum tuhibun Allah fatabiyuni yuhibukum Allah. That Allah Zawajal's true love will dress us when we have that love for Prophet that is from their realities of 11. Now the 11, the mirror is that's why we follow the awliya, why we follow the guides. Because they are an ayna, they are a mirror of that reality. Means who are they looking to in their tawajjuh? When their heart is opening and their souls are opening, who are they facing? Means their salah is real, their, their ibadah is real. In your salah you say, Assalamu alaykum yuhan nabi. Means it's real for them, their souls, their soul is in the presence of Prophet and being dressed and blessed by Prophet as a result they're a mirror, they mirror that reality. So if you go in the presence of a mirror what happens? It dresses you from everything. And where do we use that in dunya? The satellites. That when we want to send a signal somewhere you send it on to a satellite, the satellite is a series of mirrors. It takes it and mirrors it to another location, mirrors it to another location. That's why in the huruf you see commonly in the huruf the mirroring. When they write hu and then they flip it in perfect symmetry with the hu. Because this is the ayna, this is the reality of the ayna, only Allah that they're looking into that reality. Their marifa means they're constantly moving in that reality. If you come into the mirror you'll be dressed by its reality. Whatever they're dressing their eyes with, they dress your soul with. Whatever their ears are being dressed with, they dress your soul with. Whatever their breath being dressed with, they dress your soul with. And that is the, the hadith that when my servant comes to me with voluntary worship, I become the ears in which he hears, <coughs> the eyes in which he sees, the breath in which he breathes, the hands in which he touch. Means if that loaded soul dressed from those realities, if you come into their presence they don't have on and off. They don't discriminate based on they like someone and don't like someone. They're constantly mirroring that reflection. If you come in the presence of that mirror it begins to dress you, begin to bless you, begin to take away so many different difficulties from people and that is the reality of the 11, that is the reality of La illallah and the deep reality of La illallah begins to open within the secrets of Mecca and Medina. But we'll talk about that some other time inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bisi Rasulat al-Fatiha.